Hello, my name is David Hood. I'm a lawyer in South Carolina, and we shot a little video on Legally Blonde and uh, our perspective on the movie. Hope you like it. As president of my sorority, I'm skilled at commanding the attention of a room and discussing very important issues. It has come to my attention that the maintenance staff is switching our toilet paper from Charmin to generic. All those opposed to chafing, please say aye. Aye. I go with generic, unless I've guess. I feel comfortable using legal jargon in everyday life. I object. She'll need that skill. <gasps> 180 is perfect. And that's why you should vote for me, Elle Woods, future lawyer for the class of 2004. With those guys, she's in. Well, according to Swinney versus Newbert, Swinney, who was also a private sperm donor, was allowed visitation rights as long as he came to terms with the hours set forth by the parents. So if we're sticking to past precedent, I mean, Mr. Latimer wasn't stalking. He was clearly within his rights to ask for visitation. There's actually a recent case where a woman in Missouri got $5.2 million for getting an STD in a former romantic partner's car. And that was upheld by the Missouri State Court of Appeals. Well, unless the defendant attempted to contact every single one night stand to determine if a child resulted in those unions, he has no parental claim over this child whatsoever. Why now? Why this sperm? I see your point. And for that matter, all masturbatory emissions where his sperm was clearly not seeking an egg could be termed reckless abandonment. I believe you've just won your case. First year law professors generally rake the students over the coals and I never, ever had him say that. Never heard it. But it is a good movie. Ms. Woods, you did well today. Really? You're applying for my internship, aren't you? I don't know. They should. Do you have a resume? Of course, Callahan has an ulterior motive. But typically, they don't even allow first-year students to have an internship or work because they're not sure if they're going to pass and get through to second year because there's, depending on the law school, pretty high flunk out rate for the first year students. 34 years older than you. That doesn't look so good to a jury. Then show them a picture of his dick. That might clear a few things up. I resemble that comment. I believe you, but a jury is going to want an alibi. Well, I can't give you that. And if you put me on the stand, I'll lie. That's a problem for the lawyer because if they know their client's lying as an officer of the court, they're supposed to bring that to the judge's attention. I've already lost my husband. I'd rather go to jail than lose my reputation. No alibi? Get ready to meet your girlfriend. Vivian, grab me some coffee. Lawsuit. Gay men no designers. Straight men don't. Know what? He did leave a share tape in the pool house one time. A what? Share. Oh, share tape. Okay. Yeah. I thought you were saying S-H-A-R-E tape. No. Share is a, I know. a musical item. Yeah, I, I got that. Okay. <laughs> If that's all the proof that he has, Your Honor, I think I'm done here. You may step I'd down. like to ask a couple of questions, Your Honor. Typically, when one side, one side of a legal team dismisses a witness, that's it. So, it's very unusual that another lawyer would get up and say, I've got some more questions, because they usually have it really planned out. 
So that doesn't really happen in real life. And how long have you been sleeping with Mrs. Wyndham? Three months. And your boyfriend's name is? Chuck. Right. <laughs> the first offense is my so-called lover is a gay man. Are you hitting on me? You're a beautiful girl. <laughs> so everything you just said? I'm a man who knows what he wants. And I'm a law student who just realized her professor is a pathetic asshole. Callahan is going to pay big for a sexual harassment suit. And Elle should get a lot of money to pay for her student loans and to fund whatever career she wants. Elle quit. What? Yeah. Callahan hit on her, so she quit. My God. That's something you would tell a client that your senior attorney hit on the associate. Elle Woods, Your Honor. Rule 3.03 .03 of Supreme Judicial Court states that a law student may appear on behalf of a defendant in criminal proceedings. Your Honor, I have no problem with this. I do. I'm not allowing it. Oh, but you agreed last night in your office when we were discussing my career. The ruling also states that you need a licensed attorney to supervise you. Mr. Callahan. That I won't agree to. Uh, I'll supervise, Your Honor. Well, first of all, you have to be a third-year law student in Massachusetts in order to represent anyone. And you have to be approved by the court. And you have to be supervised by an attorney. The guy in the tennis shoes, he'd probably be tossed out by the judge. Oh my God, there she is. Elle! Elle, we came to see your trial. Oh, look how cute. There's like a judge and everything. And jury people. Vote for Elle! Ladies, take a seat. The judge would probably find her roommates in contempt or threaten them with contempt. Which is, you know, putting them in jail if they don't behave. You know, a girl in my sorority, Tracy Marcinko, got a perm once. We all tried to talk her out of it. Curls weren't a good look for her. She didn't have your bone structure. Oh. You can't just talk to the jury. Only during the opening and closing. But thankfully, that same day, she entered the Beta Delta Pi wet t-shirt contest where she was completely hosed down from head to toe. Objection. Why is this relevant? Oh, I have a point, I promise. Then make it. So the judge would normally have sustained the objection, meaning granted the objection and told her to stop doing that. You, however, had time to hide the gun, didn't you, Chutney? After you shot your father. I didn't mean to shoot him. I thought it was you walking through the door. Not a good idea to confess on the stand that while it's all being taken down by a court reporter. Bailiff, take the witness into custody where she will be charged for the murder of Hayworth Wyndham. In the matter of the state versus Brooke Wyndham, this case is dismissed. Mrs. Wyndham, you're free to go. Typically, the prosecutor is one to dismiss the case. And sometimes you want to get a jury verdict so that you can't be retried on it ever if they find you not guilty. I love dogs and cats but they're not allowed in the courtroom unless they're a service animal or an ESA. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll be coming up with some other videos and uh, we hope you enjoyed it.